last one. Bill Schwab, winebuys.com here. With August Spasciani, the grandson of August Spasciani, one of the founding <laughs> fathers of uh, uh, California wine. Uh, uh, in that, well, actually pre Mandavi, but in those Mandavi, uh, uh, Chesky, uh, all those big names of, right. of Napa Valley wine. Just got a winemaker of. Uh, well, actually, was just inducted into the Culinary Institute of America's Winemaker Hall of Fame, 2011 yeah. class. Oh, wow. Very, very proud of that. And we've tasted through not most of the line, but a good chunk of the line. Certainly. And now we're on the Pennywise. Pennywise Petite Syrah. I love the little label, there. and I love the color. Yeah, it's the, the color of the label or the wine? The wine. The wine, yeah. It's a dark, inky uh, Petite Syrah. You know, Petite Syrah is not a big... Uh, you know, it's not a big category for most most places. Most drinkers uh, are frankly new to the concept of Petite Syrah, but it's, um, and I think, a good well, it's introductory. It's actually the Derif grape, correct? Yes, yeah, and not, not many um, consumers are, are aware of it. And, you know, in the past it's been used primarily as a blender, um, but we actually came along this, this lot and uh, we're very, very happy in the quality. I think Santa Cruz Mountain Winery still makes it under the Derif name, if I remember. No if yeah, I remember correctly, no yeah. Petit Syrah uh, has its history in southern France. I don't know if you're familiar with that. It was originally grown in no, southern France. No, I didn't. France. Thank you for sharing. And uh, uh, it got the term Petit Syrah because um, unlike true Syrah, which has a nasty habit of when it gets overripe just before it falls off the vine, of staying on the vine and staying in smaller bear. And they're very similar in color. The big difference between the two is Petit Syrah drinks beautiful when it's young and really just sort of gets old. Well, Syrah has the chance to... You know, especially grown in Hermitage and places like that, has a chance to evolve into something greater. Uh, not much chance of evolution here, but heck, for 12 bucks a bottle, what That's kind right. of evolution do you need? That's exactly right. See, I jumped the gun on you this time, I'm, Price. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Table's turned. <laughs> uh, it's funny because uh, it is, it's a bigger wine. It's uh, got a lot of tannic, to it, tannic structure to it, but not overpowering. Um, I, you know, the, the interesting part about it, my wife, Allison, uh, it's her favorite of the wines that we make. Which is funny because it doesn't strike me as being a particularly effeminate uh, grape. Yeah, because it really fills the mouth, but it's not as heavy handed. Um, we sell another Petit Syrah, which will remain nameless mm -hmm. right now, uh, at about uh, uh, 16 bucks. And that, you take a sip of it and, and you're picking chunks of Petit Syrah right. between your teeth for an hour later. I mean, it's just huge. This is much more finasseful, still a ton of fruit. I mean, there's Certainly. gobs and gobs of fruit here, uh, but a little bit more refined, uh, a little bit more cultured, let's say, in the style of Petit Syrah. Approachable, more approachable. <clears throat> and I'm not saying one style is better than the other. Uh, uh, definitely the other Petit Syrah has its place. Cocktail wine, maybe, you know, that's perfect. This can actually go with food. Yeah. And this is going to be very approachable with food. Uh, I would love to see anything charred on the grill. Certainly. With it. <laughs> certainly. And maybe even some barbecue. There you go. Which is not grilling. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, definitely a little bit of that charred, smoky flavor. We love this wine. Delicious stuff. Uh, like I said, about 12 bucks a bottle. We're going to get it into eleven ninety nine range. I think it's approachable. Is that doable? I think here? we can make that work, certainly. Outstanding. Outstanding. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy.